Hi, my name is Mariam Kwaja. So, unfortunately, I am a huge procrastinator. And I know I should have planned this video like beforehand, but I didn't. And, sorry, before, like, I had like lots of good ideas for this, but I need a lot more time to do those. So, I picked a topic that I'm still passionate about, and, which, well, starting to get passionate about, which is philosophy. And before, um, I recently I have a philosophy course right now at school. I my viewpoint on like philosophy was really limited. Like I would think if someone said philosophy, this would like I would think, what is life? What is real? You know the basic sort of questions you hear. But I didn't really understand philosophy, and I still don't. Obviously, I I'm not and I'm not a philosopher. I don't know exactly how to philosophize. But like I started my philosophy course last week. And my teacher is amazing, by the way. Like, Miss A.B., if you're watching this, you are just the best. So, um, one of the topics that was, like, really interesting to me is ethics. I'm, like, a really big ethics fan. I think that we should all be, like, just go out and help the world no matter what it costs and stuff. So, one of, like, the big questions in this unit is, like, what do we owe each other as, like, humanity and people? Like, do we have an obligation to each other? Like... Should we morally help each other out? Like, like, is it required of us? Is it a duty? And I'd personally like to think, yes, it is. I'm a, as I already said, like, I think if you don't help people, then I don't know what kind of life you're really living. So, um, the problem with my answers are they're really simple. Like, I'd say it's the correct thing to do. It's the moral thing, the thing to do. Um, like it's the compassionate thing to do right like the kind thing like the most answers you hear like if you care you're a caring person you would help someone out right but then th the problem with my answers are you can easily ask 10 more questions like what is right or how do we know what morality truly is and that's gonna be it's not really hard to explain and there's not one set answer obviously as I've learned that recently that in philosophy anything can be right or wrong so I'm just gonna talk to talk to you about my viewpoints on this and sorry, I'm looking down a lot. I know it's because I wrote this out and I haven't memorized it yet. So to quote uh, Gandhi, one of the quotes in my textbook, sorry. So he said, Let us suffer so that others may be happy. And the highest service and the highest love is where man lays down his life for his fellow man. Learn to be generous towards each other. To be generous means having no hatred for those whom we consider to be at fault and loving and serving them. It is not generosity or love if we have goodwill for others as long as they end sorry, as long as they and we are united in thought and action. That should be called merely friendship or mutual affection. The application of the term love is wrong in such cases. Love means feeling friendship for the enemy. And this is like I think a really powerful quote because it shows the extent of how kind people should be. Like he's talking about people sacrificing their lives for other people. Like that's a big thing and it's hard to imagine a common person doing it. And I mean, I'm, I might not like go as so far to be like, oh, go sacrifice yourself. Obviously not, but like little kinds of little acts of kindness. Sorry, um, like if someone sits in distance, like anywhere, like like, oh, look at that person, just so high and mighty. Who do you think they are, right? But we should just like kind of like let it pass. Like we should give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe they're having a bad day, right? And we should instead try to maybe like help them if we can in some way. Like we don't know what kind of um person they really are like I saw this interesting post last a few days ago it was um this person wrote about how they used to be a big like oh like they were they're really good at English and they also point out people's flaws in English they'd be like oh you write like you're incorrect in this let me explain let me tell you this right and they wouldn't say it actually kindly they'd be like you're so wrong you're dumb right and then they would just like point it out and then this person um said that they have a new look since they start teaching people English, like who aren't that good at English, and they realize this this person, like a person who like types on the computer. We don't know if they're what problems they're having. They might, I mean, they might be poor. They might not have any education. They might have had a chance to improve. They might have had to like quit school and like work. Like we don't know where these people come from, right? Like we don't know if um, they're doing it intentionally. And this person might be dyslexic. They might not even have like the ability to learn and write that well as us. So. I don't guess I'm getting really like off topic when I say stuff, but I just think that if we're compassionate towards each other, like if we, like, 
sorry, I'm getting like, I'm losing my train of thought, but through compassion towards others, we build like an understanding between people, and this understanding helps us to grow and love each other and help out more people. Like, it builds like a connection between, um, like your parents, like your siblings, your family, your friends, your community. And with this, peop like, people flourish when they're encouraged and loved, when they know that they fit somewhere. Um, like, a person might be afraid to say their ideas, but if they know that everyone's going to treat them kindly, if everyone's, no one's going to be like, hey, your idea sucks, man. Like, they're, they're going to they be to, able to say it. We don't know how many good ideas are behind closed minds because they're too afraid to speak out. Like, I've... I've personally been, I've wrongly judged people in my life and, um, but when, once I got to know them I realized like they're really great people, they have great ideas, they're kind, I, it's just that how I thought they were at first look. And now some of these people I'm like great friends with because they're, they're just awesome people, it's like at first look we think that we're better than others but if we actually are like kind and we give people benefit for the doubt then I just, I just feel like we should be really kind people. Okay, sorry, I don't know where I'm going with this, but what are your opinions? Please share in the comments below. Like, do you think we have a moral obligation to be kind to people? Thanks. That's all. Bye.